This is like a historical school. Through collapsed windows and caution tape, people like Cornell Brock stood back and reminisced about their connections to the old Kern Street School. It's kind of sad to see something like this happen. Because I had a lot of fun days as a little kid playing out here on doing field days. He was one of more than a dozen people who stopped by on the first day of the new year to find burnt pages from textbooks and the smell of smoke lingering in the air. The building was also a sanctuary of faith. I was so upset, Lord Jesus, there's nothing I could do. Faye Thomas is the pastor of the church that owns and uses the space for services. That was on my heart, but uh, it keeps uh, uh, falling in disrepair through fire. Since 2016, Thomasville city officials have tried to contact the financial owner of the property, but he failed to respond to their notices. Since then, taxpayers have paid to keep the grass cut and cover the cost of boarding up windows. At one point, the bill started coming to Pastor Thomas. I wasn't able financially to do anything. Uh, the city sent, uh, I heard, sent a bill of $16,000 for keeping up the land and that kind of stuff. But that's impossible. There's no way in the world I could do that. Thomasville Fire Department leaders tell Fox 8 they want something more to be done to prevent these fires. The bill needs to be secured in a good way or... Uh be demolished at this point. There's been four here since 2019. At least two of them, including the fire here on November 2nd, were arson. I, I hope they find out who done it to get them because uh, really that's something like this is un uncalled for.